Hey everyone, my name is Ikeme. I was one of the Play Rangers at Playtime before we unfortunately got shut down. Um, I hope everyone's safe and healthy. I hope all of your family and friends are safe and healthy. I know that things are pretty uncertain right now, but today I'm bringing you an activity and I hope they can take your mind off of things for a while. We're going to be creating a collage slash vision board sort of a thing. It's really cool. I'll explain it to you in a second. So before you guys get into creating your vision boards, I want to show you what a final product might look like. Now yours might look a little different from mine, and that's completely okay. This is what mine looked like in the end. So I'm going to be right back and I'm going to show you all my different materials and get started on my vision board. Um, I'm going to show you the materials I have here. First, I have a plain sheet of paper. You're going to need some kind of paper to write on, to draw on, glue things on. I have some paint brushes and some paint. I have some magazine cutouts and glue and scissors and that's pretty much all you're going to need. You can use whatever you have access to where you are. You can use color pencils, markers, crayons. If you have paint, you can use paint also. You don't have to use magazines. You can use your imagination. Just draw whatever comes to mind. But if you do have access to magazines, make sure you ask permission first and you can find some images, some things that you like and cut them out so you can paste it on your vision board. Um, so what we're going to be doing is imagining ourselves as adults. You're going to picture yourself as a grown up. Where would you live? What kind of life would you have? Are you going to be in the US? Are you going to be in Paris? Where would you want to live? What kind of job do you want to have? We're going to be writing our goals for ourselves, um, putting down some of our favorite things and just whatever we want. You can let your imagination run wild. Okay, I'm back. So this is a bit of a weird angle, but I this is like all I could come up with so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I do have a glass of water off to the side to clean my paintbrushes in. So I hope that you guys are able to gather some of your materials. And now we're just going to get started. So, have you guys thought any about what you would want to do when you grow up? So right in the middle, that's where you're going to want to place your... <clears throat> whatever you envision yourself looking like when you grow up, your adult self. Don't worry if it comes out looking a little weird. I'm definitely not an artist, so I guess we'll see how this turns out. Or if you don't want to put yours in the middle, you can put it wherever you want, but I'm just going to put mine in the middle so that everything is centered around it. And if you're using paint, I do have something under this to protect um, my table from getting stained. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you cover whatever surface you're painting on so that you don't leave any stains or any mess behind. Okay, so that's going to be my face. I don't think I'm going to do a full body. I'll probably just do my head and I'll give myself some eyes soon so I don't look like, I don't even know what this looks like right now, like a acorn or something. <clears throat> Neck. While you guys are doing this, I want you to be completely creative. Nothing is impossible since we're talking about the future. Anything is going to be possible in the long run. So whatever you want to look like, maybe you want to give yourself blue hair or maybe you want to dye your hair a different color. I'm going to go ahead and give myself black, just regular black hair because I'm boring. I usually 
have my hair back in a bun and I imagine that years from now I'm still going to be doing the same thing so Give myself some ears. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. And I do have piercings, so I'm going to add that. And if you guys have any earrings or anything, feel free to add that in. Whatever you'd like your future self to look like. I think I might allow myself to be more conceptual. I'm not going to put tons of detail on it. I don't want to limit myself. And I do love makeup, so Definitely going to give my future self some red lipstick. your paintings and drawings coming along. Maybe you're using color pencils or crayons or pencil. I'm trying to get them like my real eyebrows, but honestly, they probably look better, but there are no rules. I can make myself look better than I can. Other materials you gathered will come in handy. So if you were able to get your hands on any magazines that you could cut up and get some things from, that's what we're going to be doing next. So I have different things here that inspire me and that I want to be like as I get older and more mature. So I have a lot of women here that look really strong and powerful because that's what I hope to be. I want to be able to do a lot of great things in life. So. I try to surround myself with images of women that look like me who have been able to do those sorts of things. I don't know if you recognize any of these people. Maybe not. Um, so one of the ideas that I had was that closer to your face and closer to you know your future self, you could surround yourself with goals or positive messages that you want to keep near and dear so that you can focus on that. And here I have get happy and force of nature because in the future I just want to picture myself being happy and living the positive life that I always dreamed of and I hope you do too. And for force of nature I hope to make a lot of really great change in the world so that's definitely something that's on my mind so I'm going to put it really close to my head. What are some of your goals that you hope to accomplish in the future? Do you want to change the world? Do you want to be a teacher, astronaut? Do you just want to be as, I don't know, whatever you want. Stay at home parent maybe. That was one of the things I wanted to be when I was a kid. I said, 
well, I had a million different things I wanted to do, but one thing I thought was an actual job was when I grow up, I want to be a mom. Yeah, you don't really apply for that. Okay, and then I have some cutouts of greenery, if you can see that. Sorry, this might not be the best quality because I care a lot about nature. Maybe some of you care about nature and you like doing eco-friendly things like turning off the sink when you're brushing your teeth and not letting the water run, not taking super long showers and making sure you recycle. Sorry if you hear some noises, my rabbit's behind me and sometimes you can tell I'm giving attention to other people and he gets a little jealous. I wish you guys could see him. I'll see if I can get him to come into the frame. These are some treats. Bye. Hey. Okay. Can you guys see him? I think he can't a little. I hope you guys are able to see that. I also really love um, taking care of my body the best I can. So I really love fruits and vegetables. I always did as a kid, honestly. And I know a lot of people say kids don't like vegetables, but I really love them. I was actually trying to convince my parents to buy more. So here I have some strawberries. So what are some of your favorite fruits and vegetables? Or they can be any food at all. Maybe you like cookies. I know I do. And here's another thing I might have neglected to mention. If you guys want to travel, this says Hollywood, but the D was cut off. So if you guys want to travel, definitely write that down, whatever places you want to go to. Or you can draw a picture of it. I know one place that I'd really love to visit is Argentina. I definitely like to visit South America or just Latin America in general. Bye. So this is the final product. I hope you guys can see that. I'll bring it a little closer. So I went ahead and added in all these different colors to fill up all the blank spaces. And I added a lot of black because black is actually my favorite color. What are some of your favorite colors? I hope you guys put plenty of your favorite colors and favorite things on your vision board. So that is the finished product. That's what mine looks like, and I hope you guys are really happy with yours. If you're not finished, it's fine. You can keep going until you are happy with your masterpiece. And thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope everyone stays safe, happy, and healthy.